What's going on everybody? Ricky Robinson with Two Times R Media, back again with another video. In this video, I'm giving you some hype motions with my hands. I'm trying to see what this fine, fine K688 microphone does up against my favorite microphone for the moment, the Pod Mic by Rode. Is it gonna be better? Is it worth your pennies? Is it worth your dollars? Is it worth your dimes, your nickels and your quarters? Is this microphone the microphone for you? Let's check it out. Let's listen to it, hear how it sounds, see some of the features. Let me tell you some of the features real quick before I, I don't want to waste any of your time. This microphone is an XLR and USB-C microphone, which thank goodness is USB-C in 2023. I didn't mean for that to rhyme, but it did. Oh, well. So this microphone is an XLR and USB-C. What does that mean for you? That means that if you wanted to get it right out of the box and connect it directly to your computer without anything else, you can. Now, I will say that you will probably need a microphone stand, a boom arm, or some kind of a mic stand. It doesn't have to be one of these, but you will need at least a mic stand to go so it holds up the microphone. Now, it is a light microphone. You can hold it in your hand. I don't think you want to hold it in your hand. You might get some of those sounds from your hands moving around. So you want to, you know, not have too many sounds extra on top of your voice. Now, I do have a Clark Technic mic booster that I use, usually with my pod mic. I'm not using it right now. So we can get the test. So I can test it directly into my camera. I have my Ceramonic Smart Rig 2 plugged into my camera like I always do. And normally I have it just about not even a quarter of the way up right now without this i have it cranked all the way up so this is how the pod mic sounds connected directly into the camera without any boost in gain um, the gain on my camera is set to about 25 db and of course i said the ceramonic smart rig 2 is cranked all the way up like fat joe said i think it's fat joe all the way up all the way up my daughter used to say that all the time but she loved that song. She liked. Anyway, uh, so I had it. I have it cranked all the way up. I don't know how great this sounds. I mean, I do hear it in my in my headphones, but I'll see how it sounds on the video later on. Now, so in, instead of wasting your time, we're gonna get right into it. Again, this is a USB C and an XLR mic. When you're using it in USB C, it does have a mute button on it. This thing has nothing. It's just an XLR um, port and the microphone. This did not come with it. I bought this separately, but it definitely does help when I want to get up on the mic like this and uh, relieve some of those plosives. Plosives are anything with P's and, you know, harsh sounds. So that helps you so it doesn't you don't hear the popping in your ear. So let's get into how the mic sounds. I'm going to connect it directly into the, the camera, just like I have this one connected right now. And we're going to go from there. I'm going to connect it to the laptop. I'm going to give you two audio clips. And you're going to tell me which one sounds better to you, A or B. That's enough of me talking. Let's get into the new microphone, see how it sounds, see how it compares to the pod mic, and go from there. So here's my other angle. And this, again, is the Rode pod mic. And I'm going to connect the Fine Fine K688. USB and XLR microphone into my camera the same way this is connected at the same level to see how it sounds. Let's test it out right now and see the difference. I'm going to give you a little clip to see the room, no the room noise because I have my fan on, I have my computer on. I'm not going to be in here burning up. Let's see how much room noise these microphones pick up without me talking. All right, so now we're going to switch to the Fine Fine K688. Now, this is the Fine Fine K688. Again, I didn't adjust any levels. I didn't adjust anything. This is the microphone directly connected into my camera. Again, the gain on my camera is about a 25 dB. And the gain on my Ceramonic Smart Rig 2 is cranked all the way up. So this is how it sounds. Let's listen to some room noise to see how that is. I 
I can tell you right off the bat, there is definitely more gain. The Rode Pod mic is a little bit more gain heavy than this is. I can probably crank this down a little bit more. Check, check, check. Now this is normally where I have my audio on my Ceramonic Smart Rig 2. Now this is a lot more full sounding. I don't hear the crisp, the crispness in my voice. I don't hear the crisp sound. I don't hear my S's and stuff like that as much as I do on this. It's a little bit, I will say it's a little bit muddy. It does sound pretty full. I don't mind the sound. It sounds, you know, if I want to be really uh, baritone in my voice, I think that's what it's called, baritone. But this is what it sounds like connected directly into my Smart Rig 2. I don't know if there's going to be much difference in USB-C or in the Focusrite 2i2. I don't, I'm not sure. But we'll both get a sound test to see which one sounds better to you and also to me. Um, I'm going to test it. I'm going to connect it directly into my Focusrite 2i2 and see how that sounds. It might sound better. It might sound the same. Might be no difference at all. It might sound just as as good as this. Now, if I talk directly into it, I hear more of my S's. Um, of course, I want to be, you know, at least like four inches away when I'm talking into it. But this is not that bad. I like this. This actually sounds pretty good this way. I like it rather than this. Um, this is a proximity, of course. This is really close. I'm really close. But I'm talking this way so you don't get too much of those plosives. So Peter Piper, you know, you know, that stuff is going that way, which is nice instead of going directly into the capsule that is picking up all the sound. But like I said, I like this, how this sounds. This sounds pretty good like this. Of course, I don't want to be that close. I want to be kind of like this, but that is pretty nice because I know this, you have to be pretty close to it to pick up the sound. Not sure why that is, but I mean, it sounds, I mean, this still is my favorite microphone, but this is a contender for sure especially if you want something that's budget friendly and uh, that comes with pretty much everything you need except for a mic stand. Again, that's pretty much all you need to go if you're going to be podcasting with this or if you're going to be recording directly into your laptop anyway. You have the USB-C um, interface inside of it. Now, of course, like I said, there is, I don't know if I'll be able to turn it around. I'll, I'll take it off and show you guys here in a little bit um, a close-up of that, how that looks and how that, you know, all the buttons in the back and you know, the USB-C port. Of course, you got the headphone port in the back also. You have your volume knobs. So I'll, I'll show you guys a close-up of that real quick um, right here. The USB-C, you see the USB-C. It has your 3.5 millimeter jack for your headphones. It has your volume for your headphones and your volume for your microphone and your XLR. And there is the, the mute button right there on the bottom, if you can see that. So there's a little capacitive mute button. It's not actually button, you just touch it and it works. Works pretty good. Only works in USB-C mode. One cool thing about this microphone that is a little bit um, difficult to do, I did have to turn this microphone around just so I could have my, my right angle XLR cable, you know, going at the right angle, pun intended. Uh, so you can turn it around. I saw somebody saying that you couldn't but you can, these are just, there's like rubber bands that's inside, which is in the shock mount, which is pretty cool. Um, it helps, of course, with shock. Which, of course, you, you hear not too much. So that's pretty good. I'm holding this because it's, it's so cheap. Um, you're going to hear it. So, But, I mean, if I let it go. So if you're, you know, typing away. Not too bad. You clickety clank it on your, you know, your keyboard. This is another microphone that you can stream with directly into your, into your MacBook or your laptop. This you will need an interface. This you don't need that interface. So this is great for streaming. If you're a YouTube streamer or a Twitch streamer, this would be perfect for that. Again, I like the sound out of it, especially when you're talking directly into it like this. This sounds really good. I hear my S's. It sounds full. I hear the the bass in my voice. Not too much bass in my voice, but I hear how that sounds. That sounds pretty good. All right, so enough of that. We're gonna try it. Should I try it with the Clark Technic? Cause it, it's 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 pounding, man. Um, I'll try it with the Clark Technic real quick to see 
how this helps background noise or hiss or any of that stuff or if it makes it worse hopefully it doesn't make it worse we'll test it out and see so let's test that out real quick and see what happens now this is with the gain turned down to negative 30 on the camera and my Saramonic Smart Rig 2 is barely even on. It's even before the line that starts for the audio. So this is pretty strong, pretty interesting. So now we're done testing it like this. We're going to see how it sounds going directly in, doing an audio test of it going directly into uh, a MacBook or any kind of a laptop to see how that sounds. So I'm going to give you two sound clips to see how those sound clips sound and you can judge from there. Now this is a test with microphone A. Clip A, microphone A, I'm about two to three inches away from the microphone. How does this sound? Apple juice, apple juice. I would like some apple juice. How does that sound? I'm trying to get the S's out, I'm trying to see how it sounds. So this is again, microphone A, microphone A, connected directly into the uh, focus right 2i2 how does this sound listen to the background noise see how much you hear i'm going to be quiet for a second so you can listen to that again this is a microphone a let me know what you guys think down in the comments i'm going to switch to the next microphone to see which one sounds better now this is a test with microphone B. Microphone B. How does microphone B sound? Is it sound the same? Anything different? I hope you guys are wearing headphones. Anyway, let me do my little weird test. Apple juice, apple juice. I would like some apple juice, please. Please, can I have some apple juice? I don't know why I said that. It sounds pretty dumb. Anyway, I'm trying to test the S's. So how does it sound? Now, I'm going to be quiet so you guys can hear the room noise and see if you hear any buzzing, any weird noises coming out of this microphone. Again, this is mic B. Now, this is USB-C mode. Anything different, anything weird, any weird sounds. This is the USB-C mode connected to the fine fine k688 usb-c and the xlr microphone how does this sound does it sound okay let me do my little silly test apple juice apple juice i would like some apple juice please please can i have some apple juice now let's listen to some room noise So now that we're back, what did you guys think about the audio clips? I will say that this sounds just a little bit fuller to me. I don't know if it's fuller or more muddy, but I kind of like the sound out of this compared to this. As you guys already can tell, which one by me saying that which one is which uh, clip A or clip B. Um, this was clip A and this was clip B. Now, I do love how this sounds right now. It sounds pretty, pretty full to me. But in comparison, this just had a little bit more fullness, a little bit more bass to my voice. Now, everybody's voice sounds different. Everybody's voice is different. So your voice might not sound exactly the same as my voice did. And you got to take that with a grain of salt. Now, if your voice is a lot more higher, this may help you sound a little bit better. Um, so that might be something you might want to consider. Now, the USB-C. I have no issues with it. It sounds pretty good. If I was to use it for streaming, this would be perfect for streaming. I think it would sound just as good. I wanted to give a shout out to Fine Fine for sending me this for, to review. I appreciate the uh, opportunity to review it. The, if you are interested in this microphone, a link will be down in the description down below. So go ahead. I'm not getting a kickback or anything for that. And they're not paying me for the video. They just sent me the device to test and I tested it. Um, they have no say in what I'm going to say here. Um, they, you know, gave me some information on the microphone and that's pretty much it. Um, and I said it fine, fine, because that's how 
they sent it to me in an email. So I'm hopefully I'm saying I'm hoping that I'm saying that right. I'm not sure. We'll find out if they have a problem with it. This is the Fine Fine K688 USB C and XLR microphone. Um, it does come with an adapter. Say if you have a different um, mic stand, it does have an adapter in it. That's the gold thing. So you can use it pretty much on any any mic stand. This one uses this adapter, so it makes it a little bit easier. Again, you can use you can remove um, the whole microphone from the shock mount and adjust it however you want. If you need your XLR cable to go a certain way, you have the adjustability. It's pretty flexible, pretty adjustable. Now it's really lightweight, especially compared to the pod mic. The pod mic is pretty heavy. I had another one of these arms before and it would just fall because the, the pod mic was so heavy. So this would be no problem with more inexpensive um, arm, mic arm. So you can use that or you can use one of the tabletop ones like I have. Now it, you can use one of these. It works perfectly fine on there. Or you can use one of these arms like I have right here. So you have options with uh, with this microphone and they just give you pretty much everything you need in the box except for the mic stand. So that's all really you need. I think besides this, if you want to connect it directly into your computer, it comes with the, uh, the wind muff. It's really soft. It doesn't feel like this one. I don't know. It feels it's interesting. I heard somebody else talk about that and they said it was really and it, it is. It does feels like feel like suede. It, it's interesting. But you can see the capsule is really close to the edge. I really wish they made this either longer um, or uh, made this shorter inside so that you're not so close to the front. Because if you are pretty close, if you're trying to do the proximity effect, if you're trying to get that proximity effect, the nice boomy sound in your voice. You're going to be want to be right up on it. And this microphone, you're not going to want to be on. You're going to want to be at least three to four inches away um, to get really good sound without so much of your plosive. Now, I did talk more of an angle. Um, so you're going to get that. That works perfectly fine. Like I'm talking to this microphone right now. So I don't pick up most of my plosives and I say P's a lot. So you can do that. No problem. But if you're going to talk on it like this, you're going to want to be a little bit further away, three to four inches away from your microphone. So you won't have no issues with those plosives, no issues with those unwanted sounds in your microphone. But this is the Fine Fine K688 USB-C and XLR microphone. A lot of features for the price. Like I said, most of the time you can get it under $70. And this is $100 by itself. So hundred, probably about $100 for XLR, XLR cable, um, a mic stand. You'll be right around the price just for this mic alone. So it's a bargain. It sounds pretty good. I'll let you guys decide on which one you think sounded better. I, listening back to it, I did like how this sounded a little bit better. This sounded a little bit more tinny to me for some reason. I'm um, going through the focus right. It could be settings or something. I did not tweak anything. No audio in this um, will be tweaked. I did adjust the gain a little bit, but there's no EQ going to anything. Um, so yeah, so that's the only thing I really adjusted was the gain, no, you know, equalization, nothing like that. Just how you get it. You plug it into your focus, right? Or whatever XLR, um, adapter you have. And that's how it would sound. My name is Ricky Robinson with two times our media. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more videos like this. Again, shout out to fine, fine for sending me this microphone. I really appreciate it and have a great one. Peace.